Okay, let's make a comparison here between a detachable stock warrant and a non-detachable stock warrant. And we're going to do it in terms of a, uh, a stock warrant that's attached to a debt security or a bond. And these stock warrants are give give the opportunity of the either the bondholder or the holder of the warrant, depending on the case, uh, the opportunity to buy a specified number of shares of common stock of the company at a specified price. So if we look at these detachable stock warrants, uh, in the first case here, uh, those are stock warrants that are separate from the uh, bond. They can be sold separate from the bond. So what we have to do with a detachable stock warrant at the time of the issuance, we use either the residual method or the proportional method. And what we have to do is we have to allocate um, the difference here between um, the equity portion of the bond and the debt portion of the bond. So the equity portion is assigned to the what the stock warrants are worth, uh, sold separately from the bond. And then the debt portion would be the worth of the bond, what it what it it's worth here, excluding those uh, the equity or the um, stock warrant here. Now with a non-detachable stock warrant that's uh, a bit different here. Those are uh, stock warrants that are attached to the bond and they cannot be sold separate from the bond. So what we have to do in the case here when we issue these bonds is we have to include both the uh, price of the bond and whatever that stock um, warrant is worth as a liability. It cannot be separated out here as an equity portion. It has to be included as a liability in the bond. So in this case, the comparison between the two, when you issue the bond, the detachable warrant has to be allocated here uh, be uh, to the equity portion here of the bond and then the bond amount here would be the liability portion. And then with the non-detachable stock warrants, everything goes into the, the liability portion here, and that bond's payable, both the bond and that uh, on the warrants that are attached to that bond. All right, let's look at detachable stock warrants when they're exercised. Now remember, these detachable stock warrants are warrants that are traded separate from the bond. So when uh, those warrants are exercised, we debit or increase our cash amount by the purchase price of the stock of those warrants. And then uh, this warrant, uh, the equity account that we were carrying here for that warrant value, that would be reduced by the amount of the warrant. And then the balancing entry between the cash and this equity account that we reduced here in this warrant uh, value would go into the common stock and the additional paid in capital for that common stock. So this bonds payable was not affected here at the exercise of these warrants because the warrants are traded separate from the uh, bond. All right, let's look at the non-detachable stock warrants when they're exercised. Now remember these non-detachable stock warrants are warrants that are attached in this case to this debt security to the bond and they can't be separated from the bond. So at the exercise of these warrants we would reduce our bond amount by a specified amount here depending on what the exercise on those warrants were. And we would be doing a debt to equity swap. Now any of the proceeds from those warrants would be recognized here as equity in the company, either through the common stock and any additional paid in capital here to the common stock or the warrants. Now we don't recognize any cash proceeds. We just recognize a debt to equity swap here on these non-detachable uh, stock warrants. And we would reduce our debt or a liability by an amount here and we'd increase our equity account here by that amount. Now that's in contrast to our detachable warrants here because with our detachable warrants we recognized at the exercise here a cash receipt and also we allocated the equity portion. But in the case of these non-detachable warrants we reduce our liability here and we transfer it over to the equity. Now with the detachable stock warrants, we did not uh, affect our liability at the time of those exercises. It only involved the warrants itself between a cash account here 
in the equity account, opposed to our non-detachable warrants where we reduce our debt amount here and transfer it into the equity amount here upon the exercise of the warrants. So that's just a summary between uh, non-detachable and detachable stock warrants when they're attached to a debt security, namely bonds in this case.